one of Nigeria's most successful businesswomen, accomplished in many fields. Starting out in the 70s as a local secretary, by the 80s she leaped to Fashion Designer of the Year. I myself as a little girl had always been quite fashion conscious. In the 90s she struck it rich in the oil business. To the glory of God, we actually struck oil in commercial quantity. Now she gives back as author and philanthropist, helping Nigeria's widows and orphans. We try our best to bring hope back into their lives. This week on African Voices, Falonjo Alakija opens the pages of her autobiography. Through her life experiences and challenges, she shares the secrets to her success. So I've always believed that anything worth doing at all is worth doing well. Falonjo Alakija is a Nigerian billionaire. She travels frequently back and forth from her home in Lagos, Nigeria to her homes in London. She's with her publishers in her apartment block in Knightsbridge, an exclusive and upscale district in central London. They're looking over her latest book. I am a very proud Nigerian. I have traveled wide and far. I've traveled the world over. I've been traveling since the age of seven. Now in her 60s, Falonjo Alakija is one of Nigeria's influential women. She recently finished an autobiography called Growing with a Hand that Gives the Rose. Inside, she shares stories of her beginnings in the corporate world. I started off as a secretary because that was um, the, the, the career path that my father made me get into. It wasn't my choice. So I started off... Um, in the bank as its secretary to the managing director. I was very comfortable doing what I was doing. I had a good eye for the stationery and uh, creating the logo of the bank. Alakija says her creativity helped her move along the corporate ladder quickly. From executive secretary, she became the first head of corporate affairs at IMB, Nigeria's international merchant bank. From when I started working, uh, at um, International Merchant Bank. Um, I knew all along from inside of me um, that I, at some point in my life that I wanted to get into business. Two years later, she moved into a financial position in the Treasury Department. It wasn't long after she started thinking about creating her own business. Treasury Department. And I saw that more of a, of a business-related uh, sector of the bank where I could trade with the, with the bank's money and uh, make money for the bank. I, I felt like uh, being a natural in business. So um, I was able to juggle that very well. But when it got to the stage where I found that um, people were being hired, those who, are, who have university degrees and they were being placed in positions above me, I didn't like that. I felt it was time to move on and uh, set up my own business. And I started thinking about what to do, what kind of business that I would, I would do that I would feel comfortable doing. And it was a time when Nigerians were beginning to look inwards uh, and fashion was beginning to pick up in Nigeria. And people were being very proud of wearing African fashion, Nigerian fashion, um, Nigerian clothing. I felt that, you know, it was the right time to go into um, studying the art of fashion design. So that was when I decided that it was time to move and to actually go and learn fashion design. Because I've always believed that anything worth doing at all is worth doing well. I felt that um, I shouldn't just hire staff and get them to get on with it. You know, I felt that I needed to know a lot more about it and, and do it professionally and dot I's and cross T's. So I decided to resign from the bank and uh, go back to England to study fashion design and come back to set up my own business in that line. In 1985, Alakija made the switch from finance to fashion. 
After studying in London for a year, she returned to Nigeria to make her debut as a designer. She rented a three-bedroom apartment in a popular district of Lagos and called her fashion label Supreme Stitches. It was an immediate success. By the end of her first year, Alakija won a prestigious national award, Fashion Designer of the Year. Supreme Stitches became a household brand in Nigeria and Falonjo Alakija a big name in the industry. I myself as a little girl had always been quite fashion conscious. Uh, I love clothes. I love beautiful things and beautiful people around me. I also knew that I had creative abilities and uh, because I had um, the, the, the talents to go with it. So I just felt that um, I needed to choose something that I would be comfortable doing, something that I would uh, enjoy doing, and something that would be lucrative at the same time. She credits family for her fashion sense and success. When we went on holidays, I would always go and help my mum in her store. Uh, she used to sell textiles. Mine was to market what she was selling. And it gave me insight into colors and textures of fabrics and uh, how to make a sale. So I, I learned a lot with fabrics and colors. And then um, I would go back to school. So I think that helped me. Alakija was also exposed to Western cultures as a child. We lived there for four years. We mixed with the uh, English girls, uh, imbibed a lot of uh, British values. And I remember that uh, we didn't look forward to going to the dining room because we weren't eating Nigerian food. Her beginning chapters next.